My understanding of D&D is that the GM has the power to make the quest a heist. But players control whether the background music for this heist will be the Pink Panther theme, the Mission Impossible theme, or the Benny Hill theme. Eh? Alternate universe where I literally just go to school forever, but for free. So I can just learn about art and literature and history and languages for a hundred years. No job skills, no credit requirements, no student loans. Just learning. That sounds cool and terrifying all at once. Treat spiders the way you want to be treated! Ah, so killed without hesitation. A person I just met said, yeah, I grew up loving the Percy Jackson books, and I accidentally responded, so you're gay. And he was, in fact, gay! But nobody's ever said it that bluntly before, but yeah. Today I was getting my hair cut, and I pulled up the picture to show the very nice lady cutting my hair, and she looked at it and said, um, are you sure you're showing me the right picture? And I looked down at my phone, and I was showing her this. Whoops! In my doctor's office, there is a giraffe with the Pringles guy's head. What? Is that a cup wearing pants? Yes. Is that? Is that Majora's Mask in the mirror? Oh my god, it keeps getting worse! I want emo versions of idioms. Like instead of, you're barking up the wrong tree, it's, you're panicking at the wrong disco. You can lead a horse to evanescence, but you can't bring him to life. Well, this isn't my first Black Parade. You know what's dumb? The concept of treating adolescents like children throughout the entirety of their teenage years, and then at around age 17, pull a complete 180, and expect them to decide within the next couple years what they want to do with the rest of their lives. You put it into words. Mango. Mangoing. 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 Speaking of which, I hope all my mutuals know that you can just go on down to the hardware store and just buy a big old bag of dried blood. Mmm, forbidden to square. Refuse to differentiate between important and unimportant information in your scene descriptions. Looking around the road streets, you see a few burned out houses, various bits of rubble, 4,000 demons pointing swords at you, a pile of knocked over street signs, and a stray cat. All your players immediately. I pet the cat! <sighs> the 4,000 demons immediately lower their blades, as you have successfully shown proper tribute to she who walks the shadows, the bitter talon, the queen of the dark pit. Mrs. Flufferbutt. Today I learned professional clowns who want to patent their look can paint their likeness on an egg and have them stored in the clown gallery in East London. The egg registry acts as informal copyright that protects a clown from having their look stolen by a copycat. A tiny glimpse into the topsy-turvy world of clown society. Covertly adds this to my ever-growing list of things I thought Terry Pratchett made up for his fantasy world are actually real things. The bourgeoisie is a turquoise bourgeois? If not, then the world is lost on me. What the fuck is a bourgeois? This. Oh, delicious. Today is aesthetic. Keeping the same tab open in your browser for three solid weeks because you're definitely going to get around to reading and or acting on whatever's in that any minute now. Don't call me out like this! Okay, some of you motherfuckers have been submitting my post to PMC Moore's Discord. Oh shit. I'm going to take this awesome opportunity to make his life a living hell. <clears throat> Lead rhymes with read, and lead rhymes with red. But read most definitely doesn't rhyme with lead, and lead doesn't rhyme with red. My god, why?